Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Dr. U U T lectures. Today we are going to talk about immunity in detail. This is going to be a one short lecture, okay? So what we will talk about, first of all, I'll tell you people about uh, all those points that are the part of today's discussion. So then we will move uh, further. Uh, first of all, uh, I will define immunity in simple words, in simple terms. Then I will talk about the term antigen, what is actually antigen and what is actually antibodies. We will talk about that also. Then we will talk about the immunity types. Innate immunity, adaptive or acquired immunity, active, adaptive, acquired, passive, adaptive, acquired, active, natural, active, artificial, passive, nature, passive, artificial. Along with that, we will also talk about the opsonization, neutralization, memory cells, B cells, helper T cells, T cells. Uh, cell mediated immunity, humoral immunity, or B cells mediated immunity, specific immunity, non specific immunity, and ETC. We will talk about all these, okay? So these uh, will be the points that will be in the part of today's discussion. If these are not of your interest, then leave the video. If these are of your interest, then just concentrate, listen to me carefully. I'm going to explain all these connectively and constructively means in a very simple and easy words that they will construct in your brain in such a way that an easy building will be formed regarding immunity in your this particular brain okay well so what is immunity simple simple very simple it is defense system of the body our body has a defense system that fights against foreign uh, harmful particles so this defense system of our body which is fighting against foreign harmful particles this is actually known as immunity okay in simple words now all these harmful particles that are coming from the environment towards us okay from outside the body so those particles are actually termed as antigen okay they are given the name antigen now a question arises here why these particles are known as antigen why another name is not given to them very simple just concentrate on the word antigen you will get your answer very easily and quickly now antigen word is actually composed of two terms number one anti number two gen anti means uh, or it stands for antibodies hereby okay gen is actually from generation means production okay so now production of the antibodies now uh, combine these two together production of the antibodies so that's why the particles are called as uh, antigen because they are product producing antibodies in the body how they are producing because of them actually antibodies are produced in the body how very simple when these particles from the environment come to our body enter into our body so our body identifies these particles and then these particles when they get into the body because of these particles our body then makes antibodies okay so antigens are from the outside and antibodies are produced inside our body when they come into our body okay so they come into the body and because of these antibodies are produced that's why these particles are biologically named as antigen antigen uh, antibodies producing uh, things so that's why uh, this particular beautiful name is given to harmful particles okay so antigen means actually the antibodies production so antibodies productions are done when uh, particles from the surrounding come into the body so again uh, defining a little bit more here by so antigen when they invade the body uh, and produce antibodies that's why they are called as antigen so i told you right now when the particles invade the body so then uh, as they come into the by our body our body starts producing antibodies so that's why these particles are given the name antigen okay so i told you the name i broke the name for you guys from the name you can also understand antibodies production so particles are actually responsible to produce antibodies in our body why as they come then our body will produce otherwise no antibodies are produced hereby well so this is a little bit about antibodies uh, antigen now let's come towards the antibodies now what is actually antibodies term so simple uh, these are in one line if one asks from you what is antibody or what are antibodies a one line answer will be that these are actually proteins simple okay proteins simple so what they are doing is that these proteins actually they bind with the particles and neutralize or destroy them 
so antibodies are the proteins which bind with the foreign particles so they either neutralize them or they either destroy them okay they either neutralize them or destroy them so how they neutralize them or how they destroy them very simple a simple phenomena is here, hereby so when the particles they come okay they are actually uh, moving inside our blood so the antibodies they um, make the particles in such kind of shape then that uh, those particles will not be able to get into the cell suppose they are having uh, this particular uh, type of shape okay arrow type of and here we have a cell so now this is actually a particle p this will come and this will approach the cell and they will uh, penetrate the cell and they will get into the cell so now the particle will be available here from outside it entered into the cell so now this is actually a simple way when if we have antibodies in our body so what will happen the particle will be here and antibodies they will come and they will cover there this particular portion so now if this particular portion is covered now this is not able to penetrate into the cell so this kind of mechanism is known as neutralization okay they block the entry into the cell from the blood by mean of covering them binding to them so transforming their shape means changing the shape of the particles then that those then those particles will not be able to penetrate into the cell so they block them they block the entry of the particles into the cell so like this the uh, the proteins means the antibodies the proteins the antibodies they cover the particle they transform the particle they change the shape of the particles that they cannot be able to enter into the cell so this is how neutralization helps the uh, body from the antigen okay so another way this they, they destroy so how they destroy now now this is actually covering now how they destroy a very simple phenomena simple destruction is very easy that is term the name is opsonization now what is meant by the word opsonization so opsonization uh, is actually uh, marking the uh, cell that for the destruction how like very simple so we have a particle a particle is of a star shape okay now this particle has entered into the blood now if this is moving or floating in the blood so what will happen uh, our antibodies they will approach and they will bind here with this particles okay so these are our antibodies now these will bind with this now these antibodies are actually having some kind of signaling uh, mechanism when these antibodies when these proteins i mean these antibodies when they bind with the particles so then you know, these particles uh, will start uh, signaling other cells so because of antibodies when they attached with the particles signaling will start now those signalings when they are actually uh, signals are given to uh, surrounding other cells like the cells are named as uh, t cells okay t cells suppose now those t cells they will approach this particular uh, portion where the antigen is present and antibodies have surrounded so antibodies actually marked this antigen for these t cells now these t cells were moving here and there but they were not able to fight this antigen because now because of when this antibodies bind with this antigen then this particular uh, t cell can easily find uh, this particular antigen and will fight with this and will kill this and will destroy this so this is how destruction is then and this is actually called as opsonization there is a little bit more discussion also regarding opsonization that i have i already explained in my other videos but right now here why to make you people understand about the neutralization and destruction point of view i just made um, a little bit illustration here by that you people may get the understandings of the opsonization or destruction of the antigen by mean of the antibodies so what are antibodies simple these are the proteins they either block or destroy the antigens okay this is a very simple understanding for right now so how they block they do the neutralization how they uh, destroy they do the opsonization so this is a little bit understanding regarding antigen and antibodies so now let's have a little bit uh, shortcut review of these two points then we will move further for a, a more discussion so now what is actually uh, antigen and antibody antigens are actually the particles when they come into the body because of those particles when they come into the body which are called antigens those particles because of them our body will then start producing antibodies so antigens are from outside from outside they will come into the body and antibodies will be produced in the body then now these antibodies are responsible to fight against those antigen in different way either they will block them they will neutralize them or they will destroy them by mean of opsonization 
and some other phenomena uh, phenomena that are also available okay so this is a little bit right now now let's come towards the immunity now what is immunity types okay so we discussed about immunity defense system so we have two types of def defense systems uh, system number one innate immunity number two adaptive or acquired immunity now what is innate immunity immunity uh, the name the name is telling you people just to concentrate here by innate means uh, by birth okay so this word innate innate from neonate okay you can guess this from neonate so innate means a kind of immunity that is actually produced in the body and uh, by birth okay that is given to us by birth how like very simple we actually have these three uh, types or classes or levels uh, of the immunity so just concentrate these these three you will understand now uh, in a very easy way that uh, what is innate immunity actually and how it is given to us by birth the very first one is actually the physical immunity the physical level uh, or first level that is called as physical level now what is physical level simple physically our entire body is actually protecting us from harmful particles uh, example example hereby is skin our skin is actually the example of the physical immunity so this is actually a first level immunity also now this physical immunity skin our skin actually provides protection against various factors against various uh, substances so this actually skin protects from uh, protects us from all the particles dirty particles filthy particles uh, harmful particles so the skin does not allow to uh, get them into the body okay so now this skin is actually providing a barrier this is stopping so this is also called a kind of immunity okay resisting okay we are our skin is resisting the entry of the harmful particles so this is actually called as physical immunity now we have chemical immunity guess what if we ingest food and the, in the food uh, harmful particles are also ingested when the food reaches our stomach in the stomach we have hcl now this HCl is responsible to destroy all those harmful particles. So now this is a kind of chemical immunity that is being given to us and is uh, granted by Almighty to us and is by birth to, in us. Okay. Then we have cell mediated. We have WBCs. You know about that. So in the blood we have WBCs. Now WBCs we know that they are actually able to fight against various kinds of uh, harmful particles. So these three are actually the three levels of immunity and they are actually given us by birth. That's why they are called as innate. So when we are actually born, we all get, we all have skin, we all have HCL, we all have blood in our body. So all these three, they are fighting against, they are protecting us against uh, different particles. So that's why they are also placed in the immunity and uh, they are given the name as innate immunity. So they form the innate immunity. And this immunity is actually non-specific. You know, our skin, uh, uh, HCL and uh, WBCs they are available to fight against any kind of antigen okay they don't differentiate so that's why these all make non-specific immunity and uh, another one is called a specific immunity and specific immunity is actually made by the adaptive or acquired immunity now why we are called specific immunity because uh, actually we don't have this kind of immunity okay innate is given to us by birth and adaptive or acquired we don't have the name is telling you guys adaptive or acquired acquired means we take from something from someone from somewhere adaptive we adopt we don't have okay so guess what if you don't have any kind of uh, uh, child of your own so you adopt someone as a child so this is called as adoption or you don't have something and you acquire something from somewhere this is called as acquired immunity so acquired immunity or adaptive immunity is actually immunity that is actually taken from somewhere outside okay so or from by, by some other means so we don't have first of all when we are exposed to the harmful particles when the harmful particles get into the body then our body starts making the an, um, antibodies and they, then at the end immunity is made so that is called as adaptive or acquired immunity so we actually have adaptive uh, or acquired immunity of two types remember guys innate is non-specific adaptive or acquired is specific and uh, why it is specific you will get it right, right now and i just told you a little bit uh, in the earlier portion so let's know how uh, this is actually uh, specific and uh, what are further the discussions available in the adaptive or acquired immunity adaptive or acquired immunity is further composed of two uh, subtypes the one is called as active the second one is called as passive so active adaptive uh, or acquired immunity uh, passive adaptive or acquired immunity so adaptive or acquired is actually one term okay don't differentiate these are not two terms this is just one term or one type of the immunity given two names okay you can call it as adaptive only or acquired only okay that's also fine well so we have adaptive acquired 
uh, adaptive acquired active, adaptive acquired passive. So what is active, now what is passive? Let's know that first of all. Active means that uh, our body makes the uh, antibodies. Active means our body makes antibodies, okay? Our own body is making. Passive means our body is not making, we get it uh, in the prepared form, already prepared form. Means, so we just, uh, you can say, uh, take antibodies from somewhere and we just give it to the patient, okay? When a patient is not having antibodies, we just give it antibodies. When a patient is healthy and makes the antibodies, it's called as active. When a patient is not healthy or not having antibodies, we give antibodies by some uh, means. So that is called as uh, the passive uh, way of getting the antibodies. So passive means we don't make ourselves. Uh, active means we make ourselves. And in passive, we just take already prepared antibodies and we get ourselves uh, immune by those antibodies. So now we got the concept of the active and passive. Now both these types have natural and artificial, okay? So acquired active is having natural and artificial. Acquired passive is having natural and artificial. Now active, natural and artificial. Let's know that first of all. Acquired natural means that uh, naturally uh, when any antigen from outside reaches us, uh, gets into the body, our body fights against, our body makes antibodies, and uh, at the end our body uh, succeeds in fighting uh, the antigens and uh, the antibodies are produced in the body and then they're available, okay? In the body and our body gets immune. So now, particle came and our body made the antibodies. So this kind of mechanism, is called as a natural uh, mechanism and natural active immunity production. Another one we have is artificial. Uh, now guess what? Uh, sometimes uh, when we want uh, to stop the spread of any kind of pandemic, okay, just like coronavirus, what we did, we were providing vaccines and we also have some kind of polio vaccines for our all other uh, siblings uh, when they are just getting uh, they're grown, getting grown, okay? In the very early ages, we provide this particular uh, vaccine to them. Now, vaccine is actually the, the, the example of the artificial active, artificial active. So now, in both the cases, our body is supposed to make antibodies, but natural means naturally. Luckily, or unluckily, you can say, things from uh, surrounding uh, reached us, and then they uh, infected us, and our body fought, and our body made antibodies. Now, in case of artificial, what we do actually, we take feeble, weak, or a dead kind of the antibody, antigens, foreign particles or harmful particles, means dead bacteria, um, weak bacteria, dead viruses, weak viruses. So we take all those, uh, we take either their parts or some kind of uh, material from them. So we then inject those into the body, whether we inject or we give in drops or we give in space form. So what, what I'm telling you actually is that we give the uh, antigen uh, in dead form, in weak form, uh, uh, by ourselves, okay? So this is called as actually vaccine. Now, if someone can also uh, get the understanding of the vaccine from here by, so if someone asks from you, what is vaccine actually? You will say that vaccine is actually the dead form, the weak form of the harmful particle, it means the dead form of the virus, the dead form of the antigen, the weak form of the virus, the, the weak form of the uh, bacteria, the weak form of the harmful particle. So when we just take the weak form of the any particular harmful thing and we uh, give that into the body by any means, by injection, by drops, so when that enters into the body, then our body says that uh, something uh, different has entered into the, our body. So our body then starts fighting against those particular uh, antigens. So you know, uh, everybody knows. So if we get encounter with somebody uh, whose hands and foot are actually tightened and uh, that person or that particular animal cannot move, then we are easy to, to fight with them. We feel easy to fight with those particular uh, organisms, organi humans, or uh, animals, or ETC, okay? So, means our body is the same. So when we give weak to them, then they easily fight with them. And when they fight with them, then they start making the antibodies. So like this, what happens? Antibodies are produced, produced, produced in a very large amount. Second time, when the same antigen, when the same harmful particle comes into the body in healthy condition, so then our body already uh, has the army available, the antibodies available to fight with that. So second times when things are coming, then our body easily fight and quickly fight with that particular particle and uh, protects us. And we get, we get 
protection from those antigen so what we got here by both natural and artificial way we got uh, antibodies produced by our body okay our body then helped us in producing the antibodies we did not take antibodies from anywhere else from any external sources okay so uh, in the natural way the live antigen live bacteria harmful bacteria live viruses they entered our body our body fought with them and our body made antibodies in the artificial we just uh, got the dead or the weak form of the bacteria or the viruses or the harmful particles into our body and our body then uh, fought with those particles so then they made the uh, antibodies and then those antibodies were available so second time when the same particle is coming in the live form in healthy form in, st uh, in, in, in strength or in bulk so our all body already have the uh, our body our body already has the uh, antibody so then it will be able for easy for our, for our body to fight with those uh, all those uh, harmful particles so the example of that is actually vaccination okay so vaccination or vaccine is actually the pro producing the artificial immunity uh, the, the the means of production artificial immunity in the body so here you got both the, the points the natural and the artificial okay so natural mechanism and artificial mechanism uh, so let's know that now a little bit about the mechanism before moving to the mechanism let me tell you people about the passive immunity passive acquired so now what is passive acquired immunity very simple i told you the passive is actually already prepared form we get the immune uh, antibodies uh, in prepared form from external sources in the active uh, we got the antibodies when the particles were coming to us so in the passive we will get the antibodies uh, from the outside in already prepared form so we don't get any kind of antigen entry into the body we actually get antibodies directly into the body okay so now we get from two sources naturally and artificially naturally when a mother feeds a baby for the very first time the very first uh, uh, milk of the mother called as colostrum is actually the rich source of uh, this particular uh, immunity which is called as passive immunity so uh, when mother feeds the baby so that milk actually uh, contains the um, antibodies and those antibodies provide the immunity into the body of the baby so that is actually by mean of natural way uh, we got from um, our mothers and then we have uh, uh, artificial way in artificial case uh, whether it is the baby or uh, a young one or an old person what we do if a person is very feeble very weak and a person's uh, body is not able to make antibodies then we would make we give uh, that particular patient uh, the already prepared antibodies uh, to uh, that uh, to fight against certain uh, diseases so artificially we give all the prepared and naturally uh, we get from mothers so mother is a source of the natural passive immunity so natural passive acquired artificial acquired uh, natural passive artificial passive natural active artificial active so active passive acquired okay all is done now let's know a little bit how actually the antibodies are actually made and uh, what are actually the b cells and the uh, memory cells let's know that first of all uh, by mean of this mechanism first of all not we have already explained many things first of all first of all well coming to the point what is the mechanism of uh, the antigen antibody interaction and what actually uh, else happen what actually else happens in this the uh, in this particular uh, mechanism let's know that so antigen whenever antigen enters into the body the very first uh, person faced by the antigen is called as b cells i'm giving this b cells the name of person to make you understand okay it's not person well antigen enters into the body b cells are waiting for the antigen b cells will interact with the antigen so then uh, as the b cells interact with the antigen they will call the helper t cells uh, that uh, please uh, here i have antigen now uh, i have marked the antigen for you i have caught antigen now please come and do something of this antigen means kill it or destroy it or stop it from entry into the in the blood so what happens then when all these three combine together they actually uh, differentiate into a type of cell which is called as plasma cell now those plasma cells will make antibodies and those antibodies will uh, either neutralize or will destroy the particular antigen so this is how the mechanism is done now sometimes those b cells when they fight so they uh, differentiate into the memory cells and those memory cells the name is telling you guys memory memory means to memorize okay they memorize them that this that they memorize 
uh, that uh, such kind of individual have got entry into the body and we already fought with them so we have to make antibodies now for future if uh, in future again the same antigen is reaching us so we will be able to fight with that antigen in an easy way okay so this is how memory cells are formed and the plasma cells are formed and the antibodies are formed and this is how the mechanism is done uh, and this is this is the mechanism actually by means of which our body is making the plasma cells the, the antibodies and the memory cells so this is uh, the mechanism now we uh, actually also get some other types of the uh, adaptive or acquired immunity which is called as uh, humoral immunity or cell mediated immunity so these two are uh, further discussions and uh, let's know that first that, that in a little easy in, in an easy way just concentrate so when you are asked what is humoral immunity and uh, what is cell mediated immunity or what is b cell mediated immunity or what is t cell immunity so don't be confused just concentrate i am going to make it easy for you guys what is humoral immunity the word humoral if you get the the understandings of the term humoral you will not under, forget this um, in your life okay so and you will also understand uh, the further discussion in an easy way humoral word means fluid humoral is actually from humor which means fluid so we have fluid in the body now what is that fluid in the body called blood so in the blood we have b cells now b cells are called b cells because of the reason that these are actually produced from the bone marrow so bone is actually having the spelling b o n e okay bone starts from the b and these b cells are given the name b cells so these are such kind of cells which are fighting against foreign particles and they are produced from the bone marrow that's why they are called as b cells b for bone marrow okay bone marrow don't be confused so bone marrow cells uh, which are actually uh, able in the body to fight against the harmful particles and they make immunity is that, that immunity is called as humoral immunity or b cell immunity and then another one is called as cell uh, mediated immunity uh, which is uh, uh, also called as t cell immunity so you can uh, shortly call it b and t cell immunity or humoral immunity or cell mediated immunity so these two are actually having a little bit understandings so this is actually the b cell immunity now t cell is actually helping here by uh, in the b cell immunity also and t cell uh, can do uh, some actions on its own why because t cells are of three types the one the very first one is called as cytotoxic t cell the very second one is called as helper t cell the third one is called as regulatory t cells now cytotoxic t cells they are directly going and killing the antigens whereas helper t cells are helping the b cells to fight against the antigens and regulatory t cells they are actually regulating the mechanism of uh, fight of the t cells uh, with the antigen so why they regulate very simple and easy if they don't regulate and if this fail if, if uh, regulatory uh, cells fail to regulate the, the fighting mechanism then the the other cells the cytotoxic t cells the helper t cells then they will do their job in a maximum way which will lead to the destruction of our body and our body will get then destroyed so they will destroy our body then then they will fight against our own body so what will happen our own body organs will be destroyed and which will uh, ultimately lead to uh, called uh, as autoimmune diseases in which our own immune system is actually fighting us and making us uh, to disease condition so disease is caused by our own immune system fighting against us so that is called as autoimmune disease and that is done because of regulatory cells are not doing their job properly so this is a called as a t cell mediated immunity and b cell immunity and vaccination and the mechanism of the antigen antibody interaction and active and passive immunity and their types natural artificial natural artificial and then we talked about immunity immunity antigens antibodies and etc i hope you got the discussion and if still you have confusions or questions anywhere feel free to ask us in the comment box and don't forget uh, sharing our lectures with your friends and fellows and remember we provide online lectures you can talk to us we will uh, help you out with the online lectures discussions and uh, and and and, and, and etc okay thank you guys